Hey, it's been kind of a cold rain all day, so I thought I'd come out here and talk to my phone. Me and my phone's pretty good buddies. He don't talk back very much. Well, I wrote this deal here. It's not another poem. Well, it kind of is a poem, but it don't rhyme. But poems don't have to rhyme, I've been told. And I'm kind of using Facebook as my testing ground. And this, this stuff I've been doing is because so many of y'all out there enjoy it. And it humbles me, terribly humbles me. But it's turning into something a little more than just a, a hobby for me. And I don't know how far we go. I'll push it as far as I can now that it's going a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to read it. So if cowboy type stuff that doesn't rhyme bores you, you want to scroll on by now. It's real easy. And all this shit's free, so it don't bother me to go ahead and tell it on here. Uh, <clears throat> two of my good friends are, are writers, and they're, they're both cow punchers. One of them is a lady cow puncher, Amy Steiger. Her and Gail run a ranch out there in Arizona, and she's got several books published. Another one's Sam Brown, and I've known Sam since 1989. We ain't seen each other a whole bunch since then, but we talk still a few times a year. And, and Sam, he's a, one of the best authors, in my opinion, I've ever read, along with Amy. And two of my favorite quotes out of books are out of one of Sam's and one of Amy's. Uh, Sam's book is The Long Drift, and the two fellas ride along there one time and said, sometime I'm going to find the, the perfect outfit where the only rules are if they blow up, stick them. If they run off, time down. I love that. Another one of the Amy's book. Amy writes fiction and nonfiction. She wrote this nonfiction called The Story is the Thing. And my favorite quote out of that is, is uh, somewhere in there, this old fella, the story's kind of around. He says, no matter what else a man does in his life, is he ever... If he's ever spent time in the saddle, made a living punching cows, that's how he classifies himself. That's how he defines himself. Something of that nature is not a direct quote, but that's a deep line for me because I, I punch cows for a living most of my life and I still get to do it some. And the memories just flood in on days like today and, and, uh, not getting mushy or nothing, just good memories. And, and a lot of people have them and are like it. And hell, I started writing them down, and like I said, some of y'all are enjoying it, so. You know, I, I guess I write some of this stuff to try to, maybe I want to take myself back to some of those moments that, that I live, that I cherish so much. It's what I'm thinking, and and I wrote this one here, and it's not really a story, it's not really a poem, but maybe I can take y'all back with me for a minute, too. Anyway, I'm on track. It's called Where They Live. You can smell the morning Crisp and sharp, your nose feels alive. You top a ridge, your eyes start watering from a cool, quick breeze. It's cold. It's just right. Can't see your horse's ears real clear yet. Another little bit till the first light breaks. You see an occasional spark from a horseshoe striking a rock in front of you. You can smell the earth. Clear now, but it was overcast when we laid down last night. Camp was dry, but we're at least seven miles from there. Must have had a quick shower here earlier. Nothing else smells that way. That real. You smell the horse sweat. These cow ponies are in shape, and it's a cool morning, but we've come a long ways in rough, broken country. Long trot or lope. So there's a little sweat under them saddle pads. It's mixed with the cold, dried sweat of hundreds of miles before today. See a long ways. First light breaks off to your left. Felt like we was heading more to the east, not straight south. First time to work this country. Pay attention. The breeze is pretty steady out of the west up high. Look behind you. Remember. That might be the biggest muley buck I ever saw. Jumped him off his bed. I bet he had just laid down on that side of the ridge. He'd been filling up on mesquite beans and leaves all night. Wonder if that's the first time he'd been seen by a human. Big country. Fall off this ridge right as the sun breaks. Feel the temperature drop 15 degrees as you hit bottom. Won't last long. We're down here where they live now. We're where they are, and 
soon they'll know it. <laughs> Y'all keep snapping.